Today you're going to be needing some materials. You're going to be needing scissors, glue stick, and a large piece of construction paper. I just have blue. You're also going to need to cut some circles out today. So I'm going to give you some time to do this. And this can be any kind of um, whatever color you want. So I have yellow and I have three. We're going to be making some silly monsters today. And I'll show you what mine looks like. He's pretty silly. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make this. Now my monster has two eyeballs, but I think my next monster is going to have three. So it's up to you how many eyeballs you want. And I'm going to also give you some time to get some white paper and we're going to be cutting out rectangles. This is going to be for the teeth, so it really depends how many teeth you want. If you only want one tooth, you can have one tooth. Um, this guy over here has a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's up to you how many white rectangles you want for your teeth. And then we're also going to need a nose. So you pick out the color for your nose and you're also going to be cutting out a circle. And if you have trouble cutting out your circles, just remember like last time, you always want to make sure to cut off those sharp edges. So go back and cut off the sharp edges on your circles. But I'm going to give you guys some time first to get those materials and then second to start cutting out your materials before we assemble because I know we all work at different paces. So whenever you're done with those, I want you to come back to the video. But for now, you can pause the video and get started. Okay, now that you have cut out all your shapes, we can get started with assembling our silly monster. We're not going to get finished today, we're just going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do with our big sheet of construction paper is we're going to fold it almost in half. So leave a little bit of space down here. Press it down and get a nice fold. This is going to be the mouth that opens up. Next, you're going to be needing your scissors. And remember how we hold the scissors? One thumb in the small hole and then the fingers in the larger hole. Okay, now we're going to do some cutting. We're not going to cut the folded part. Don't cut the top. We're going to be cutting the bottom, and you're going to see four corners. So I have one, two, three, and four. You're going to take your scissors and lift up this corner, and I would like you to try to cut either a straight line or a curved line the best you can. It's going to be making a triangle shape. You're going to do that on all of the bottom corners. And you'll need your scraps, so don't throw them away. You will have four triangles when you're done. So you can pause the video if you need extra time. You should have four just like that. Okay, now that you're all done, we're going to be using these triangles for the silly hair that goes on top of our monster's head. So, using your glue stick, you're going to wind it up just a little bit. And you're going to put glue towards the bottom of the triangle. Flip them over and press and hold. Make sure it sticks. You're going to fill up the top of the monster's head with all of your triangles. So go ahead and do that now. The next thing you're going to do is start to glue the eyes down and also the nose using the glue stick. And the last step for today is going to be the teeth. So you're going to lift up the top and you're going to glue the teeth here using your glue stick. And it's up to you how many teeth you want. You can have one, 
two, three, four, five, six. It's up to you. And you can put the teeth underneath. Press and hold. When you lift it up, it should be like that.